Shaun have got another important game coming up this Saturday at home to Whiteleaf and the referees started the game now. And it's over to Bobby Price on the right back, he lost it forward uh, to Tommy Bradford, plays it wide out to my oh, oh, good, good clearance off the corner of the box there and Tommy Bradford's back on the ball, it's Jordan Cheadle who knocks it out to uh, Raheem Sterling Parker who gets into the box, great run, good cross, oh almost in the net, really good cross there by Raheem Sterling Parker, right across the face of the goal and the ball's thrown out for Jordan Cheadle to Raheem Sterling Parker. He cuts inside, beats his man, again he's getting the box, oh good clearance again and they're not clearing the lines very well Herne Bay at the moment and again it's knocked into touch for Herne Bay. And away breaks, Christy Patterson right in 30 yards from goal, he, yes or oh, he almost beats the centre back number four and into Omar Karoma and back from Jordan Cheadle to Omar, back to Omar Karoma again down the left hand side of the pitch. Can he beat the one defender that's on him? He will step over. Oh, he turns inside and he was fouled just on the edge of the box there. And it's a free kick to the Robins. And Cheadle's lining up here just outside the box on the left hand side and will it be one of his trademark crosses? Yes it is. Oh, just headed out by centre back for Bage. and it's on with Cheadle again down the left hand side, plays it wide to Raheem Sterling Parker, right on the edge of the box on the left hand side, one defender to beat, beats the defender and gets a corner. Really good play there by Raheem Sterling Parker. And the Robins faithful again making a noise like our 12th man does. Very tall goalkeeper Ben Hunter, I reckon he's about six foot eight looking at the, looking at him for Herne Bay and Herne Bay have a throw in just inside the car, short and half on the left hand side and it's coming to midfield onto their number 11, number eight sorry and right into the centre forward who plays the ball a little bit too hard for the right winger and uh, it runs through for a goal kick. He's lost. Oh, and number eight now on the right-hand side. He's got the ball. He's, he's trying to beat Morris Gibbs. Oh, and Billy Bishop just gathers the ball from the cross there. Very dangerous cross. And Bishop launches the ball up. And uh, Omar Kramer almost wins the ball. Second chance for him to... Hit. Oh, he brings it down very well. Plays it to Raheem Sterling Parker, who's cutting in from the left-hand side. He's in the box, just on the edge of the box here. Plays it in, crosses it, but straight into the arms of Ben Hunter in the Herne Bay goal. And a lovely knock-off by Omar Kroma to Tommy Bradford, now in the Herne Bay half. Plays a long ball, and it's come back to Omar Kroma. What can he do with this ball now? Tries a long shot. What a fantastic shot uh, from 25 yards out. Omar Kroma spun on the ball, hit a lethal shot, left-hand side, left-hand corner, and Ben Hunter got down low. Uh, pushed it round the post for a corner kick. And it's Christy Patterson right down the right-hand ball line. Patterson crosses the ball in. Ben Harper gathers the ball, centre of his goal. Very tall goalkeeper, so quite easy to beat Tommy Bradford there. But they get dispossessed on the way out, and Tommy Bradford got the ball. No, he didn't get the ball. He tried to get it, and Hernbray break away with their number six in the centre of midfield here. Plays a long ball out to the left-hand side for number 11. Uh, Connor Wilkins and Connor Wilkins plays the ball in cool dubious there little nudge but the referee saw nothing in it by Danny Dudley actually gives possession back to Tommy Bradford who plays it Omar Karoma back to Tommy Bradford plays out wide left here now to Jordan Cheadle just inside the Herne Bay half and Jordan Cheadle is now looking for his options not a lot of movement Tommy Bradford short 10 yard pass and Tommy plays it short to Omar Kroma. Back to Tommy Bradford. He lasts just shot and just goes wide. Just goes wide. So I think the Herne Bay player put him off there. But a good little passing move by Carl Shorten Athletic. Uh, Calvin Morris gives on the ball now. Christy Patterson down the right hand side. Plays a long ball into Tommy Bradford. Lovely chest down. Plays it out to Raheem Sterling Parker on the left hand side. The number nine's got one player to beat. What can he do? 
He plays it all. And what a goal! What a goal! Raheem Sterling Parker, long foot for the defender, plays it into the near post, and Car Shorten Athletic are 1 0 up. And the goal came in the 34th minute, celebrated by the Robins here down in the left hand corner. Raheem Sterling Parker's been giving the right back a few problems all evening. Uh, this time he didn't go around the outside trying to get in the box. He actually shifted the ball inside, struck it with his right hand foot sweetly into the left hand corner and Ben Hunter was unable to get across to save it. Absolutely. Tony, thanks very much for that. And the game's kicked off. Again, Raheem Sterling Parker, no, number 17. Oh, knocks in Tommy Bradford. Oh, great save down right to his right by Ben Hunter in the Herne Bay goal. And Robbins applying, piling on the pressure here. Okay, thrown by Herne Bay, knocked straight into Michael Zaya. Plays it back to Omar Kroma, who's knocked off the ball quite simple. Zaya's beaten and uh, number six, and Guinness lines up a shot, no. Oh, uh, gave away, away a free kick here right on the edge of the box. Herne Bay, uh, I didn't see who took him out, but uh, okay, Herne Bay now lining up the free kick and steps up, takes it. Oh, what a great shot down low to his left hand side. Billy Bishop pu punches the ball away for a throw in. That's great save. He can't see much Billy Bishop there through the wall, but he actually dived down well to his left hand side. Good free kick as well from Herne Bay. Seems to be a very good link up between Bradford, Isaiah and uh, Sterling Parker this evening. Now Christy Patterson on right hand side, knocks the ball in, nice shot. Ben Hunter thought the ball was coming out for a cross, didn't and he got his position back and held on quite firmly to the shot from Christy Patterson. Ball now is in the centre of the pitch with Omar Karoma struggling to, oh he beats one player, beats the number 12, number 11 also, not a foul says the referee. And Tommy Bradford gets the ball, oh, and Ben Hunter in the goal saves from Tommy Bradford, who's clean through on goal there. Could, should and could have made the game 2-0. And Billy Bishop about to take the goal kick. Everyone seems to be from the centre circle over to the left-hand side in the car shortens. Attacking direction, great ball for Tommy Bradford, through to Christy Patterson. Got two players on him, he's in the box, just in the box. Tries to beat the first player, but great tackle by the left-back there on Christy Patterson pulls the ball away and plays it neatly out into midfield and Oshilaja, a very lazy forward pass but it happens to uh, go past and hit Tommy Bradford to uh, Christy Patterson, Tommy Bradford cutting in now from the right hand side, plays a great ball through to Isaiah who almost gets it, oh he plays a lovely ball across and it's knocked out by the Herne Bay number seven and Bradford's on the goal again but no he doesn't quite make it and Herne Bay clear their lines, Tommy Bradford number 10 for uh, Car Shorten Athletic and he's been replaced by Ola Sabanyu, number 8. Uh, and Ola Sabanyu, I should think, will either go up top or into midfield. But uh, throwing now to the Robins, left hand side, Cheadle launches the ball up and uh, now Sabanyu is on the ball now, it's knocked away from him. Herne Bay now attacking down the left hand side. Michael Azai is trying to close the player down and uh, it's knocked again back to him by a fellow Ferno player, cuts inside to number nine. Number nine trying to line up a shot. Oh, and the referee's awarded a penalty. And uh, number nine, Jake Embry, is brought down inside the penalty area for a free kick, uh, sorry, for a penalty to Herne Bay. And that comes 69, 70 minutes into the game clumsy challenge and number nine lining up to take the ball Jake Embry the fellow that's fouled kicks it straight down the middle one all now Herne Bay one Carl Shorten Athletic one so Carl Shorten need to pick themselves up off again after that a bit unclear as to who brought Jake Embry down um, this is a bit crowded, but he did a good move right across the box. And went flat across the box, swung in, but was brought down, unfortunately, quite clumsily. Right, 
right. Away comes Christy Patterson, beats the number 17, comes right down the centre of the pitch, goes round the number 7. Great run by Christy Patterson. Launches the ball that just clears the bar. What a great run. 45 yard run by Christy Patterson. Carved open two players down the left hand side. Launched the shot. Number 17, Omar Cromer, plays it up to Christy Patson, turns his player. Christy Patson gets in the box, plays the ball across, but headed off the line by a home blade defender. Again to Osilaja. Osilaja plays it to Isaiah. Isaiah back to goal, plays the ball out left to Ryan Sterling Parker, but falls short and he's headed out to a home blade player. Coming down the middle again, number six. Looks like a handball, but the referee doesn't give it. And Ryan Healy doesn't make the tackle, unfortunately. Now, ball comes forward now to number nine. Home Bay down the left hand side, just outside the penalty area. Kevin Murray Gibbs comes across and the number nine cuts to the left, plays it out for a goal kick. Attacking stuff both ends now, end to end stuff. Billy Bishop takes the goal kick and Sabanyu gets up high, heads it on to Omar Karoma, plays it inside to Raheem Sterling Parker, gets the ball and is just dispossessed on the left hand side in the area by Herm Bay number seven. Bradley Schaefer goes out for a Car short and athletic throw in, which is going to be taken by Jordan Cheadle. Ping pong tennis in the centre centre of the uh, pitch at the moment. Number six is playing quite well, knocks the ball out to number seven on the right hand side. Tries a shot, goes right across the face of the goal, and no Herm Bay player could get to it. Evaded all the players, including the Robins players, straight across the face of the goal, about four yards out by Herne Bay. So Carl Shorten are now pushing, pushing for this winner, um, come back into the game but uh, got to keep a tight line at the back, who knows, Herne Bay can do something on the break but now it's Carl Shorten attacking down the left hand side and it goes into Omar, uh, uh, Olison Banyu to Christy Patterson, hits the ball really hard and Christy Patterson scores a great cross shot from a layoff by Olison Banyu. What a great goal by Christy Patterson and the goalkeeper dives to the right but he puts it right in the side net and the goal comes in the 44th minute of the game it's Herne Bay 1 Carshorton Athletic 2 with a couple of minutes to go in this game and what better timing there couldn't be than that goal and they're still celebrating now the Robins players down with the Robins faithful behind the Herne Bay goal and Christy Patterson Beat the defender, looked up, took a great pass there from I think it was Omar Cromer and he just launched it into the bottom left hand corner giving Ben Hunter in the Herne Bay goal no chance at all. 2-1 to the Robins with a couple of minutes plus any injury time. Right, I'm with uh, the 12th man. Carl Shorten's uh, 12th man supporters are mainly all behind the goal after today's match, uh, which finished Herne Bay 1, Carl Shorten at Elite 2. And I'll uh, start, go around the table, start with Christian. What did you make of the game today, Christian? Uh, it was a tough one. Uh, a lot of the games we've played recently have been pretty tough on us and we've sort of ground out the results. Um, so today, this is the first time we've been pegged back in a while, so it was interesting to see how the team would react. But we just kept going towards the end. We kept... The fans kept positive and kept pushing them on and we got what we deserved in the end, I think. So, brilliant. Top of the league now and it's basically ours to lose, so let's keep going. And I have with me uh, Billy Bishop, uh, Carl Shorten, athletic goalkeeper, uh, after tonight's win 2-1 against Herne Bay at Herne Bay. Uh, Billy, your take on the game tonight? Yeah, uh, one of those games, you know, it's, it's going to be tough coming away on a Tuesday night. Um, to be fair to Herne Bay, they've worked really hard. Um, Obviously, I've had a few games in, in quick succession, but, you know, difficult to see that, really. They pushed us all the way in, you know, 89th minute winner. Um, but, no, it's, you know, it's, it's what we've been doing this season. We've, we've dug in and, you know, maybe at times earlier on in the season where we wasn't getting that winner, um, you know, we've, we've added that to our game. Um, and that's testament to the boys. I mean, we've, we've worked really hard this season on, on a lot of things in training. Um, and you know we're, we're bearing the fruit of that now um, and we're getting that success so it's brilliant Yeah I think Herne Bay were obviously a little bit they played five I think in the last 13 days so it's a lot isn't it? Yeah no that is a lot um, you know you look you look at the, the top level and the kind of recovery that they're getting and they're, they're complaining about fixture congestion then you come down to the, the Bostic South and you're playing you know Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday so 
you know, I, I mean, it's credit credit to the players that, that play at this this level. Um, you know, it's got jobs. You know, they're coming from work, um, and they're still putting in putting in good performances. So no, it's, it's good. Yeah. And this is John Kistner for Robins TV after today's match here at Home Bay. It finished Home Bay one, Car Shortened to League two, and I have with me John Warden, an old Robins player. We were around quite a few years ago, weren't we, John? I was. I was. Yeah. yeah. Played for uh, Car Shortened for a number of years. I think I've still got the uh, record number of appearances down there. Absolutely. And and a star centre forward. Absolute star centre forward, banged in loads of goals. Anyway, let's get let's let's get on to uh, today's game. What did you make of today's game? It was a very even game. I think. Um, both teams played uh, good football, and it was uh, enjoyed to, joy to watch. Uh, yeah. It reminded me of the old days. Some uh, some good play from both sides. Mm -hmm. I like your number three, young lad. Um, I understand he plays for England under 17s. Is that right? Yes, he's just um, played the last four games for England International, England Schoolboy International, and he just happens to be my son. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Like father, like son. Well, <laughs> and you're you're involved at uh, Herne Bay yourself, aren't you? Yes, I coach the under 18s here. Um, we're currently sitting. Uh, uh, top of our league, so in the Kent League, which is quite a good achievement for the local Excellent. lads. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Great. AJ, your take. What today's match? Yeah. Well, that was a, yeah, again, like Chris you said, a tough, tough match. But uh, again, we've shown it to come through these matches like this. Uh, last minute win it again. I mean, why did I have to wait to last minute all the time to give us these uh, victories? But I'm oh, absolutely delighted. Um, practically there now. Just got to get the win on Saturday against Whiteleaf, and uh, yeah, absolutely delighted at the moment. I can't wait for Saturday. Bring it on. Yeah, if we, the championship's still there, definitely go for that. Uh, first, get his promotion, get that sorted out. Then if we can get the championship afterwards, that would be an absolutely terrific bonus, and I'd be much happy with that. Brilliant. Well, thank you. And I have with me Josh Wishon, who plays in midfield for Home Bay. Yep. Josh, welcome to you. And, uh, Cheers, mate. I'd like just like ask you what you thought of the game tonight. I thought, good game, to be fair. Like Two good teams try to play football. Um, I mean fair play to your team you, you want to get promoted and I think you just wanted it that little bit more so I mean them last five minutes you could see you was mm -hmm. going all out and I think we did we tried to nick a win as well do you know what I mean so mm -hmm. I think at the end, end it just came really open and I thought I didn't think a draw, I thought a draw could have been a fair result to be fair because I thought you started second half really, yeah, really yeah. brightly actually That's what I mean I think we caused our, a few of our own mistakes especially for the first goal a few sloppy passes and I think that was a difference to be honest we, yeah. caused, we had some personal mistakes whereas um, your team no, no mistakes. Well, you one of the goal scorers, first half goal scorer for the Robins, Raheem Sterling Parker. Raheem, what do you think of the game tonight? Um, it was a KG one. Um, I think we played quite well in the first half, and then um, the penalty was quite unlucky. But I always said to the boys, "We got, we'll get one more chance," and we did, and got a goal in the end. I thought you uh, did very well down the left-hand flank first half. I was uh, sitting in the stands over that side and you were taking the full, taking the full back on and uh, you were getting to the dead ball line and whipping the ball over. Some very dangerous crosses. Yeah, once you find out what's working for you in the game, you've got to keep trying and keep trying. That's what I keep, I keep doing. And um, in the end, I got, uh, got the goal. Peter, your take on the match today? Well, it was a really good performance, a team effort. Um, the lads played well. I was impressed particularly the second half, I thought we really came out after half-time and worked and ran at them and, and eventually got that winner right at the end, which um, just a brilliant end to a, a great day. A couple of minutes of time, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Again, as it has been said, we either score very early recently or we get them at the very end, which is a sign of a, a really good side that's going to win things. Mm -hmm. And we've built from last year and it's been absolutely brilliant season. Yeah. So uh, onwards to Whiteleaf on Saturday. Um, they're used to playing on a 3G pitch. Is that our place? How do you see that one going? Same as every other game, really. We try and get the three points. Um, obviously, our aim is to win the league. So if we do get promoted, it will be quite nice. But we still want to try and go on and win the league. So we've got to keep our heads on. Russell, over to you. Well, it's another hard-fought win. Nice to see a team not actually part of the bus. A nice team that, that, that they played out and tried to play football. And yes, we either score at the beginning or at the end, but we're digging out results this year, which we weren't doing last year. We would have lost a lot of games this season. We wouldn't be where we are now. We've just got to take one game at a time. Unfortunately, I won't be there for Saturday uh, because I've got to work. So I'll be keeping an eye on my phone and look, look at all the texts. But we've just got to take one game at a time, sit where we are, but be patient and do it on the last game of the season. And that will be VCD at home. We're going to win that one. Go out as champions. I've got all confidence in the team. Great, Russell. Thanks. Thanks very much for that.
Let's be moving around the table, Swift. And I have Patterson with me, uh, one of Car Short and Athletics uh, forwards. And after today's 2-1 uh, win against Home Bay at Home Bay at the Atira Park Stadium. Uh, Patterson, what did you make of the game tonight? Um, it was a bit of a scrappy game. Uh, pitch wasn't the best. We're not used to it, but I think we dug deep and got the result in the end. Yeah. And your goal right in the death there, I mean, uh, what was it, a couple of minutes to go? Yeah. And lovely cross shot, beat the keeper, all ends up. I can't believe how tall he was either, six foot eight, I reckon. Yeah, he's a giant. <laughs> um, we kept going, um, obviously went 1-1. One, one. I think the boys kept going, showed good character, and then obviously in the end, Ola got it down to me, found me, and then obviously I've got the goal. Yeah. yeah. And you enjoying your time at, um, at Koshaw? Yeah. Yeah, the boys have took me in, so I'm really buzzing. enjoying it. Yeah, 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 buzzing, buzzing. Good, good, good. <laughs> and onwards to Whiteleaf at home on Saturday, so yeah. how do you see that one going? Um, we're just taking it uh, game by game, so yeah. need to get another result. Um, hopefully put in better performance, because we haven't been at our best the last few games. But, yeah, I think if we um, play our usual football yeah, on passing Saturday, game, yeah. our passing game, yeah, oh, yeah, we should get the result. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Chrissy, good luck Saturday, good luck the rest of the season. Thank Almost you. there, just you say one game at a time. Yeah, one game at a time. Thanks a lot for the interview. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.